Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the first video of New Year and I hope everyone had amazing holidays. As you know, I've been vlogging uh, before Christmas, the whole month before Christmas and I had to cut it short because unfortunately I got really sick when I went to Washington. The whole time I was stuck in bed, I could not do anything. I was really, really sick and when I came home, Andrew got sick. So our Christmas was spent in PJs, just watching movies and not doing anything. And for New Year's, we actually went to back to Washington and spent it with my mom and my grandma. So that was just really nice, relaxing time. Now, I'm really excited to film this video. This is going to be in two parts. It's my 2022 beauty favorites and I have a lot of products that I want to talk about. So without further ado, let's get into it. First category is obviously going to be primers, foundations, and the first product I want to mention is Superglue Glow Screen. I've been using it the past year and actually need to repurchase it. This is a fantastic product that will give you a beautiful glow and it will protect your skin from the sun. This is SPF of 40, which is fantastic because I use retinol and a lot of other anti-aging products and many of you know if you use them you have to protect your skin with SPF. I have two skin tints that I want to mention. The first one is from Ilia. This is Super Serum Skin Tint with SPF of 40. I used this the whole time when I was in Germany. I love this product. It's very light and whenever I'm going out and I need my makeup um, to be a little more, to be a little more extra, I would apply this and go over with foundation which creates a perfect base. And the only downside to this product is the scent. It smells horrible. It smells like herbs and I'm just not into it, but I feel like from using it for a few months, I really got past it. The second product is Nivea BB Cream, which I picked up in Germany. I talked about this multiple videos before. I love this product. It's a perfect everyday um, BB cream. It it evens up my skin, yet it doesn't feel heavy at all. And oh, I also forgot about this BB cream because I consider it as foundation because it's a little bit heavier. It's more of foundation type. This is from Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. As you can tell, I used most of it and I'm going to need to repurchase it. I got mine on iHerb. Love this product. I have it on my face today. It's it's amazing. It gives you medium coverage. It evens out your skin tone, covers any imperfections, and leaves your skin looking glowy. Then two other foundations that I've been using. This one is Tom Ford Flawless Glow Foundation, and it contains SPF of 30. It's a very lightweight product, and it evens out my skin tone, which is fantastic. I love this. My skin looks really glowy, and I love it. Now, I recently came back to one of my favorite foundations. This is Milani Conceal and Perfect. I actually wrote a blog post about it when it first came out. I was on the fence with this product because it's heavier and um, it doesn't give you much glow, but I love to use this. I need it to last all day. I don't want it to look shiny. This is the, my go-to foundation for that. There are three concealers that I want to mention in this video. The first one is Tom Ford Emotion Proof Concealer. Now I went through a couple of uh, tubes of the this throughout the year. I don't know, something about it, the texture of it, it's very lightweight, yet it covers any darkness that I have underneath my eyes. It doesn't crease much. I love this product and I'm gonna be going back to it um, as long as they make it. Then this is my new favorite. This is Fenty Beauty. I really like it. It feels a little more, <laughs> it's probably going to sound weird, but it feels more rubbery. Um, I love how it looks on my skin and something similar to it is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This is a little heavier and I mainly use this whenever I really need my makeup to last and I'm doing something active and I just can't have it move around or anything like that. So these are my favorites. And then I have one illuminator that I like to use, but I use it mainly for special occasions because this product is not that affordable. This is YSL uh, Touche Claw. I apply just a few dots on in my inner corners and it looks beautiful. It just makes me look 
really awake, perfect for um, any event that I'm going to. There are three blushes that I've been using throughout this year. The first one is Charlotte Tilbury uh, Cheek to Cheek. It's The name is really inappropriate. I'll show it to you. This is the name of it. Um, but it's a beautiful blush. I am in love with this color. I use it often. I don't use this darker shade as often. I mainly use the lighter one. But it's beautiful. And I talked about this product in my previous videos. This is from DM uh, Rosy Touch Duo Blush. I I bought it in Germany, a drugstore. Beautiful, beautiful product. I especially love this shade. Use it often. Uh, and this is my new favorite. This is from MAC. Now, I rarely use MAC. I'm just not a fan of their products, but this blush was really interesting. And I think I've seen a video on Instagram, somebody showed it, that you can kind of press on it. It's a cream blush, beautiful, beautiful shade. Looks like this. It's in the sh shade Go Natural. It's a really nice blush. I use it underneath uh, my other blushes. Looks gorgeous. I can't forget to mention this product. This is Morphe 2 Stack in the shade Fresh Peach. Now, I don't use the eyeshadow often, um, just don't like the shine in there, but I do love this beautiful blush. And then it has the lipstick, which I use as well, and the highlighter. The highlighter is probably my favorite thing in this palette. Um, looks like this, beautiful golden, um highlighter and it's very nice it doesn't move around it just looks gorgeous and i also gifted my sister-in-law for her birthday one um the sa i think the same shade and she really loves it uh it's a very nice formula really unique now let's talk about powders when it comes to powders i don't tend to switch up if i like a product i'm going to continue using it and this past year, I've been really into this Laura Mercier translucent powder. It's perfect. I have a smaller size of this product, which I received for my birthday, if you've seen my birthday haul. And I've been using it every single day. My skin just looks flawless. It just evens it out. It doesn't look cakey. You can't even tell that I have it on. And then if I want extra glow, I go in with my Hourglass palette, looks like this. I mainly use this shade and I apply on my um, T-zone, a little bit on my forehead, and I like to use this as a bronzer. Beautiful, beautiful palette and it creates just a perfect look. To contour my face, I like to use cream products, they're just easier for me to use. And one of the products that I thought I would probably just have to get rid of this is anastasia beverly hills cream bronzer i got it in the wrong shade and looks like this i know it looks really dark but um i apply it af on my face after i apply my um my primer and then i apply this i blend it out and it then I go over with foundation and then it's a huge game changer. You can't see it that you have it on, but your face just looks sculpted. Now I've been using it mainly if I'm going to some event. I don't use it every single day just because I like it to be a little more natural. And then the second bronzer I've been using is this e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. It looks like this. Also great product i apply it on top of my foundation and it blends in really easily i don't have to put in too much work it's a beautiful product there's no patchiness it's fantastic and then this highlighter that i discovered the past year this is from essence pure nude looks like this it kind of looks like powder but let's see if it's gonna show on camera Did you swatch it yeah it's probably oh you can kind of see it on the skin you just have this beautiful natural glow you don't have uh any glitter in there you can't tell that you have it on but your skin just looks healthy and glowy uh mine is in the shade be my highlight before my brows i've been using nyx lift and snatch pen uh you guys saw me talk about this every single time i film 
favorites videos or any makeup look. This is really affordable, a lot better than um, Urban Decay. I like Urban Decay, but this is more affordable. It will last you a lot longer and um, it will stay on throughout the whole day. And then this is recent discovery. This is e.l.f. Brow Lift. It looks like this. And honestly, it's a lot better than So Brow. I freaking love this thing. I apply it, my eyebrows look um, fuller. It will stay on the way you apply it. It will stay like this throughout the day. Onto eyeliners. I have two that I want to mention in this video. The first one is Tom Ford Dual Liner and my goodness, I've been using this the whole year. I loved it. Uh, I'm out of ink in this one, but I still have a little bit left in the smaller tip. Honestly, this is the best eyeliner pen I ever tried. It will last you a very long time. It's not as affordable. You might think it's overpriced, but the amount of time that you will be using this is a lot better than just keep just buying drugstore over and over again. And the second one is Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Glide On Pencil. Now, the reason why I got this one is because of the shade in their original Naked Palette. There was one shade that I loved. Whenever I would use it, my eyes, my green eyes would pop. It looked so beautiful. And when I saw this pencil, I knew I had to get it. So it looks like this beautiful color it's in the shade stash i love this but uh you have to be care careful if you're trying to align your waterline because it will move it does not stay on but overall it's great and then i have one eyeshadow stick the cream eyeshadow stick this is from laura mercier and star plus yes i'm pronouncing it right looks like this I got this in my birthday set, which I mentioned in my video before. And to my surprise, I actually really enjoy it. I use it quite often. I take it whenever I'm traveling, take it with me. Since we're on the topic of eyeshadow, let me just talk about two eyeshadow palettes that I have here. The first one is from Patrick Ta. It looks like this really beautiful palette. It has all my favorite shades. I use it quite often. Now, these chunky glitter shades, I mainly use it whenever I'm going out and I want my eye look to be a little extra. This is in the shade um, called Major Dimension 2. So they have another palette which I'm planning to pick up as well because this is fantastic. This is a really great palette. And then the second one is my newest addition to the collection. This is More Us Nude Fantasia. And it looks like this. You can create many looks with this palette. It, it does not have a lot of fallout. It's perfect. It's not chalky. I love this thing. The only mascara that I've been nonstop using this past year has been Essence. I love Extreme Volume Mascara. This is really affordable. Looks great. I have it on right now. My lashes look really, really long whenever I use this. And two lipsticks that I want to mention in this video. Well, actually there's three, but I don't have one on me. I honestly have no idea where it went, probably in one of my bags. But this is um, NARS Orgasm. I, I hate how they name their products. Really inappropriate, but it's a bomb. It looks like this, beautiful. I use it on daily basis. It's really hydrating and my gives my lips beautiful tint. And the second one is Capari Lip Glossy and Birthday Suit, which looks like this. I don't know since when I started to liking pinks, but I've been really into them. I still love my Tom Ford products. I use the bright, dark colors, but I feel like I recently talked about them in my video so i decided not to mention this one i almost forgot that in this video i wanted to mention two of my favorite perfumes the first one is uh from a brand number 4711 and i picked this up in germany i think that's their local one and it's a beautiful uh pomelo and sea salt scent 
it's really fresh. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be wearing it more often in spring, but it's a beautiful, refreshing scent. And, and the second one is from Tom Ford. I'm not going to even try to pronounce the name. I have no idea how to. And yeah, I've been using this one the whole fall and winter. It's beautiful scent. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be filming second part right after this one. And in the second part, I'm gonna be mentioning some of my favorite hair products, some of my favorite skincare products. So stay tuned for that. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.